Pregnancy can occur during the period of time in a woman's cycle when she's ovulating. Of course, there's other factors that can increase the odds. So I will have to be really careful then, because, I mean, Tony and I, my husband, we, we've been, let's just say, active, and um, he could not have been more clear that he does not want any more children after what happened with Michael. I think something got lost in the translation. You no, were very clear Dr. Lee, about... you have been great. Thank you so much. I know what I need to do to protect myself now. I can see that you have other patients waiting, so I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. Carly? Hey. Hmm. She's crazy. Hmm. And it scares me that she's married to Sonny, but at least there won't be any little Claudias running around. I heard her tell you that she was trying to protect herself. I can't discuss that with you. Right. But I will say I agree with your characterization. Claudia is a strange one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so what brings you here? Well, um, when I had the miscarriage, you told me that there could be risks involved with me getting pregnant again. And, uh, well, my head was in a bad place, and I don't really remember the specifics. It's understandable. I wasn't saying anything you wanted to hear. It's been a year. Things change, bodies heal, so... I'm sorry, Carly. But based on your last exam, I strongly advise against attempting another pregnancy. I was pretty devastated when I had the miscarriage, but I don't remember you being so negative about me getting pregnant again. I had serious concern at the time, and then your recent exam didn't alleviate it. I'd like to run more tests. Looking for what? I don't want to be precipitous or worry you unduly. Okay, let's just run some tests and wait for the results. Okay, okay I'm way past worrying, and I don't want to wait because I will drive myself and everyone around me crazy. At least tell me what you think you might find. Okay. Taking your history into account, you could be susceptible to a condition which could cause severe blood clots in pregnant women. That's why I want you to be tested now before you try to get pregnant again. What if I already am? You think you're pregnant? I don't know. But if I am, I mean, how does this condition affect the baby? Is it serious? Serious enough that it can make a pregnancy extremely debilitating. Okay, so I'll stay in bed for nine months. I can handle that. There's more. A chance exists that the disorder could trigger strokes or embolism. Worst case scenario, your life and the life of your baby could be at risk. Okay, so worst case scenario, there, there has to be a way to treat this disorder. I know that you can give medication for blood clots. Okay, the problem is the pills we'd have to prescribe can hurt the fetus. If you're pregnant and you have the condition, modifying diet and behavior can help. But not enough. Probably not. You're painting a pretty bleak picture, Kelly, you know? Based on nothing but speculation, which is pointless. You need to be tested. If all the ifs are true and I have this disorder, are you telling me that I have to terminate the pregnancy? I never thought that I would be able to give you and Morgan a baby brother or baby sister without going through horrible fertility treatments. I remember when you used to beg me to have a baby. So Morgan would know the fun of being a big brother. Turns out now you may be getting your wish. Or not. You know, I don't know. I don't maybe these dizzy spells are just the stress of everything going on right now. I don't even know what to hope for. I mean, if I have this disorder, you know, I could be putting my life and the baby's life at risk. But I always wanted to have a child with Jax. I mean, he would be so happy. So if it turns out that I'm pregnant, how, how do I not carry this child no matter what the risk? How do I not give that to him? I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I'm dumping all my problems on you. Can you just do me a favor? Can you try and have some good thoughts for your mom?